Hi, welcome to another episode. This time again, back to the Timberline guns. There's been a lot of discussion about them in terms of how they are balanced. As you've seen in our videos, we ba balance each and every one specifically to the setup. The problem is if somebody wants to take off a reel or add a reel, you need to balance it again. It's not an exact science and it's not 100% uh, that you have to do it. We have been asked to show how to rebalance the gun if you add or take off the reel. The reel has a mass and it does vary from reel to reel. We have a 40 meter and a 60 meter. Also, there is a slight variation even in the type of line you use. So we're gonna demonstrate here how we get to that mass, whether you have a reel on or not. Taking into account that these reels are measured and weighed in salt water. Our tank is salt water specifically to the sea. Here's the first clip, how we got to the weight of the actual reel. All right, so here we have the 40 meter vector reel in the buoyancy tank we use on the Timberline guns. Um, we're now gonna show you how much lead you would need to remove to add a 40 meter reel to your Timberline gun. So here we see um, the scale currently set to zero. A little bundle of lead here weighs about 27.5 grams. We take this, the reel's on the one side of the mass balance. We add the weight to the other side. Let's get it started. So here we have a 60 meter vector reel in the buoyancy tank we use on the Timberline guns. I've got the scale here set to zero. Okay, now we have this pre-weighed out packet of lead. See it's about 18.1 grams. Now we're gonna put this on the other side of the mass balance. Just let the reel settle. Now you can see it'll offset a 60 meter reel. Now we're gonna demonstrate how you disassemble the handle to get to the weight inside the grip itself. There's two cheek plates, a left and a right. One has false screws on it. So there are only screws on the right-hand side. Most people are right-handed, so just remember, right-hand side is where you take the screws out. That will disengage these and allow the lead to come out. Now you'll see the guys cut and where to cut for each and every reel. First off, I'm removing the screws from the handle. And then with a piece of wire bent in a U shape, push it through the top bowl and push the lid out. Once you have removed the lid, you will cut, cut off the fingers to give you to remove 25 grams of this. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with the recalibration of for a 40 meter reel. So to take the correct amount of weight off, you're gonna make, draw a line at the top of the circle and in turn, that would cut off 25 grams. So just mark the line, grab a hacksaw. Okay, once you've cut the ends off to get rid of the sharp corners, you just take a ha hammer and tap the edges. And then that's your piece of lead to reinsert into the handle. So the two fingers should come to approximately 25 grams, which will offset the weight of the reel. Alrighty, so for the recalibration of the 60 meter reel, you need to take off 18 grams off the weight, the handle weight. So 
you'll cut a little bit below the radius of the circle, maybe between two or three centimeters. It's obviously not an exact science, but close is good enough. So just mark your line there, about three to five mils below the line, but below the radius of the circle, you'll cut your line. Okay, once you've cut it, then you're just, whilst it's still in the vase or in your hand, just take a hammer and tap down the edges to get rid of any sharp corners. Once you've done that, insert it back into the handle. And as you can see, we've managed to take off 17.5 grams. 0.5 grams isn't going to make a, a noticeable difference in the balance of the gun. 460 meter reel. Oh, okay. So insert it back into the handle. Ensuring that you have enough space to get the dog to on. And then you'll take a blob of Secaflex or silicone and put it on the inside there to ensure that it doesn't slide anywhere. Once that's done, pop the handle back on. Ensure that you leave enough time for the silicone to dry and don't just jump straight in the water. The long screw in the back and the short screw in the front. So there you have it. That's how you adjust the weight. The same thing will apply with your spears. If you change different spears, you'd need to raise or lower the amount of mass. There's no problem using the gun as is without changing it, but these guns are specifically balanced to be as maneuverable in the water as possible. So to enable you to do that, you should adjust the weight, but you can use it without. So if you really want to be pedantic, you'd actually need to adjust the weight in the muzzle as well, because the reel isn't centered right at the back where the weight is. It's slightly forward, but there's no need to really go to that degree of finesse. So there you have it. Another episode on the Timberline guns.